سبحان الله the weather here in New York oh it's no sun rainy and it's fall you know how it's fall when I came I said take a walk it's not fun to take a walk with this weather look so gloomy chilly but the air is so fresh so pleasant so beautiful you will enjoy it because subhanallah air nobody on the air people start to do better food and play with food and imitate food and all this water uh, the flavor do so many things to water but air from Allah mercy nobody on it you can stay without food like a month without water like three four days without air ten seconds you're done see that's why air nobody can own it nobody that's why you need to stretch your lungs when you go out walk because or go to the backyard or when you're in the home i don't want to make it hard on you do it in the, in the house if you open the window fine you need to stretch your lungs we use third of our lungs you know what does that mean like mean your lungs doesn't expand doesn't inflammate just a little bit and when that happened with time go and see people with oxygen their lungs they can't you know with time things you don't use the get banned so that's bad you have to go out not just to walk walking is part of your connection with your with where you come from you know i came from earth when you especially if you have pain in your feet if you take your shoes off that walk in the dirt it's kind of healing because your feet touch positive energy always we wear in shoes comfort shoes and better shoes and this and that but in the end your feet has to connect and i read about if you have sore 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 knee, uh, feet walk and rock walk on tough dirt not just always something has to be so smooth for you to walk in because that's not the way you created to be you know what i mean like earth that's why when you go out for a walk it's part of a healing like you enjoy yourself any time of the year it's just subhanallah allah miracle with the creation so many things so go out enjoy the day enjoy yourself so i show you the the plate and as i told you you can choose see when you are i'm here and i'm visiting and they always have so many kind of food mashallah very delicious they are very generous but in the end you choose what you want to eat even if they please just avoid because just about sasha you know they do that when you are visiting somebody please just a little bit more eat more and they keep pushing it you know you know yourself they don't know yourself you know how much yourself take you know how much limitation in yourself look at this how the color change subhanallah see the whole tree that tells you miracle of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's a small seed it grow to be the, this big tree and this big tree allah says when the leaf fall what time you know that's it and when it grew back in the spring allah says when is the first one to grow see when things happen it's out of your hand don't say because this because that everything in allah planned but we have to train ourselves as i told you habit we inherited habit over and over from so many things you know habit is uh, you have to eat it three times habit you have to have a snack have, you have to do this you, everything you have to you have to they operate you and your life and yourself better than you 
they know what good is for you, they know what benefits you, you know what is the best thing to eat, how to eat it, when to eat it, and that's all not true. Allah created you. There is certain food you like and certain food you don't like. That's normal. Like your kids, they don't like all vegetables. They just eat one kind, that's fine. Don't force it. They don't like, but if your kids used to eat this kind of food, then suddenly they don't like it. That means he been spoiled or he's not hungry when they say, I don't feel like eating. So if your kids doesn't eat from the beginning, like my son doesn't eat peas from day one, you're not gonna force it on him. But he eat carrots, he eat celery, he eat broccoli. There's so many varieties. Concentrate on what they like and don't force it. Wait till your kids get hungry. Same thing, don't tell me they don't get hungry because they snack. If they snack, how are they gonna get hungry? Okay, love you guys. And I've been talking a little bit about your kids. Use better option for them. You make the choice as you make the choice for yourself. You know, always you're thinking what they're gonna eat, how they're gonna eat, what they like, how they like it. So start to see how much your kids like and choose the food they like. And that's how life continues, alhamdulillah. Okay? So inshallah, I'll see you.